Scott Safety is a world leader in the design, manufacture, and sale of high-performance safety equipment and products for first responders, industrial workers, and governments around the globe. We have an unwavering commitment to deliver quality products and solutions designed and built to solve real-life problems. With over 80 years of experience in the safety equipment industry, our close collaboration with our customers and a heritage of innovation have enabled us to consistently deliver solutions that keep you safe. Scott Safety has been producing portable gas detection instruments since 1951. Our gas detection customers work in a variety of industries, including the petrochemical, oil, and gas industry, marine, wastewater, the fire service, and industrial manufacturing. Introducing the Protégé ZM, a zero-maintenance, single-gas instrument that is easy to use and maintain. The Protégé ZM is available in three gas varieties, including H2S, CO, and oxygen. This zero maintenance instrument provides two years of gas detection service with no need to change batteries or perform calibration, allowing your workers to concentrate on getting the job done and not on maintaining equipment. This video is intended to provide an overview of how to operate your Protege ZM monitor and accessories. It's intended to supplement the system manual that accompanied your product. Please read the entire system manual prior to putting the Protege ZM into operation. We'll start by unpacking the Protégé ZM. Most monitor kits will include a CD containing the system manual, a quick start guide, a calibration cup, and the Protégé ZM monitor. You should read and understand the entire system manual contents prior to putting the Protégé ZM into operation. Let's get acquainted with the major features of the Protégé ZM monitor. Major features consist of the red, high visibility housing. This housing allows the Protégé ZM to be seen from a long distance, and it's easy to find if dropped. The assembly is water and dust tight and carries an IP66 and IP67 rating. The LCD screen will display real-time information and alarms. The LED bars on the top and sides will light up when the product is in alarm, providing wide-angle viewing of the alarms. This is the activation button. The alarm emitter is here. Finally, this is the sensor, either hydrogen sulfide, carbon monoxide, or oxygen. On the back is a handy, durable alligator clip to attach to clothing or harnesses, as well as the intrinsic safety approval labels. The entire assembly is housed in a durable, compact housing. The Protégé ZM will arrive turned off. Once activated, the Protégé ZM will operate for two years. After the two years of operation has been completed, the product will shut itself off. To activate the Protégé, simply press the button on the front cover and the unit turns on. The Protégé ZM will initiate a self-diagnostic routine upon activation. This routine checks internal circuitry and operation to verify the product is ready for use. During the startup sequence, ensure that the LED alarm lights light up, the monitor vibrates and gives an audible alarm, and that the LCD display shows the full set of icons. During the startup routine, the low and high alarm set point will be displayed. These alarm set points were set at our factory prior to shipment. Once activated, the product will display the standard user interface screen. The Protégé ZM screen has a simple layout with all the information you need right at your fingertips, including the test status check mark, gas type, battery life icon, and months remaining. You can also set up your monitor to display real-time gas readings or toggle between the life remaining counter and real-time gas readings. The low and high alarm settings can be displayed by simply pressing the button on the front cover. If the factory alarm settings meet your site's requirements, you are ready to put the monitor to work. If either of the alarm set points have been exceeded, the monitor will detect a hazardous environment and go into alarm. The unit will vibrate emit an audible alarm, and the alarm LEDs will light up. The alarm message will be displayed on the LCD. If the low alarm has been triggered, the audible alert will be one beep, one flash, and one vibration every second. If the high alarm has been triggered, the alerts will be two beeps, two flashes, and two vibrations every second. Scott Safety recommends performing a bump test in a well-ventilated area prior to each day's use. The purpose of the bump test is to confirm the monitor will react to the target gas and go into alarm. 
To manually bump test the Protégé ZM, use the appropriate calibration target gas that exceeds the low alarm point setting. Use flexible tubing, available from Scott, to connect the calibration gas bottle to the calibration cup. Turn on the flow of gas and place the calibration cup over the sensor of the instrument. Wait approximately 30 seconds. The monitor should go into alarm and display the alarm icon on the screen. Vibrate, display the alarm LEDs, and emit an audible alarm. Verify the monitor is working properly and remove the gas. The Protégé ZM monitor can also be bumped and calibrated using the Protégé ZM test station. The Protégé ZM test station can bump, calibrate, program, or hibernate four monitors simultaneously. This makes maintaining a large inventory of monitors much easier. The Protégé ZM test station operates on an AC outlet or via the internal rechargeable battery. Start by turning the test station on by pressing either button on the top panel. The LEDs below the monitor bays will light orange, then red, then turn off. The power LED will remain green until the test station shuts itself down after 60 seconds to save power. To bump your monitors, make sure they are turned on and placed face down in the test station. Make sure you have inserted the appropriate gas bottle for the monitor type you plan to test. Make sure the test station is powered and press the bump button. The test will take approximately 30 seconds. During testing, the applicable test bay LEDs will light orange. Once the test is complete, the test bays will light up green to indicate the monitor has passed bump test. If the test bay LED is red, it indicates the unit did not pass bump test and should be calibrated before use. To calibrate the monitor, place the monitor face down in the test bay and press the calibrate button. During calibration, the test bay LEDs will light up orange. The calibration takes approximately two minutes to complete. Once complete, the test bay LED will light up green indicating the monitors have been successfully calibrated. If the test bay LED lights up red, it indicates the monitor could not be calibrated. If a monitor cannot be calibrated, it should be taken out of service and replaced. CO and H2S monitors can also be hibernated to save battery power. You can hibernate your CO and H2S monitors up to one year to extend the life of your monitor. To hibernate your CO or H2S monitor, place the monitors face down in the test station. Press the bump and calibrate buttons simultaneously for about two seconds. Upon successful hibernation, the test bay LED will light green. Pick up the monitor and verify the screen is blank. Your monitor is now hibernating to save battery power. To reactivate your monitor, simply hold down the button on the front cover. When monitors are tested using the test station, they are also programmed with any custom settings stored on the test station. You can use the IR Connect accessory to change the custom settings stored on the test station. To use the IR Connect to program the test station, Plug the IR Connect USB cable into the USB connector on your computer. Place the IR Connect in bay number one on the test station. The IR Connect can only be used in bay one and will not work in bays two through four. Start the Scott Safety Test Station application on your computer. Using the Scott Safety Test Station application, you can program the settings for the test station and the monitors. On the Dock tab of the application, you can change the settings for the test station itself. Settings such as which test to allow, the number of logs to save, the auto power off timer, the amount of time for a bump test, and the calibration gas settings. Click the right button to save these settings on the test station. On the Protégé ZM tab of the application, you can change the settings to be stored on the monitors during testing. Settings include the calibration and bump intervals, self-test interval, the display settings, and the low and high alarm settings. Items marked with a check mark will be programmed into the monitors whenever they are tested. This is a convenient way to ensure your monitors are always programmed with the latest settings. Click the right button to save these settings on the test station. 
The Logs tab allows you to read the data logs stored on the test station and then write them to your computer for safekeeping. The IR Connect can also be used in conjunction with a second application to program the monitors individually without using the test station. This is a convenient option to program a few monitors without changing the settings stored on your test station. To program an individual monitor using the IR Connect, connect the IR Connect USB cable to the USB connector on your computer. Place the monitor about 1 to 2 inches in front of the IR Connect window. Start the Scott Safety IR Connect application on your computer. The software will display a number of settings that can be customized on your computer. Settings for high and low alarm settings, bump and calibration intervals, self-test interval, user ID for the monitor, and display settings can be changed. This screen includes an option to allow you to change the main display of the monitor to show the time remaining, gas concentration level, or both depending upon your preference. Once you have the settings customized to your liking, click the right device button to save the settings to your monitor. You can also save the entire setup for future use on your computer by clicking the Write File button. This saves the settings in a file on your computer for easy retrieval at a later date, so you don't have to remember your favorite settings. You can also use this application to save the event log on the monitor's memory to your computer, or to upgrade the monitor firmware if needed. Finally, you can hibernate individual CO and H2S monitors by clicking the Hibernate button. This will erase the monitor's log and hibernate the monitor until it's reactivated. The Protege ZM Zero Maintenance Single Gas Monitor and Accessories provide an easy-to-use, zero-maintenance solution with a low cost of ownership to meet your gas detection needs. Scott is proud of this innovative family of products, and we are confident they will provide years of reliable operation. This video has been produced by Scott Safety to familiarize you with your new Scott product. Remember to follow your department's procedures when operating, inspecting, or cleaning any Scott Safety product. Should you have any questions about this or any other Scott Safety product, please contact your Scott Regional Manager, Field Service Specialist, or Scott's Technical Support Group at 800-247-7257. Thank you, and have a safe day.